New research out of MIT shows that brain scans suggest that using generative AI tools reduces cognitive activity. And this follows very closely on the heels of some research of, by Microsoft on their employees, which shows that AI makes human cognition atrophied and unprepared. This one was, instead of a corporate study, a scientific study. You can look it up if you Google this huge title here, Your Brain on Chat GPT, Accumulation of Cognitive Debt When Using an AI Assistant for Essay Writing Task. It's a pretty, I'm pretty deep into it. It's a pretty monstrous paper. It's a huge read, about 200 and something pages. But TechSpot has a fantastic summary. So what scientists did is they broke students into three groups and asked them to write essays while monitoring their brain activity with EEG, which is the graphs you can see up here above me. And they had a large language model group, a search engine group, and sort of a use your own brain pen and paper only kind of group. They monitored their brain activity while they were working and wanted to kind of look at the outputs of the papers. And then for the final study, they swapped and the large language model group had to move over to brain only. So the results here were a little bit wild. While essays from the LLM group received high marks from both human graders and AI judges, the writing tended to be more homogenous and adhered more closely to the original prompt. Participants who used LLMs were more likely to copy and paste, edit their work less, and struggle to quote from their own writing. Obviously, if you don't read it, you don't know what's in it. There's a breakdown of all the science here. But then uh, when they swapped users uh, during the final session where the LLM users had to go back to pen and paper and using their own uh, sort of information, they had difficulty recalling information from earlier in the experiment, and their brain activity had reset to a novice level regarding the essay topics, indicating that while they wrote essays, they didn't really learn anything. Although it's interesting that the brain-only group showed some decline in cognitive activity over time, it remained at an intermediate level, and participants could easily remember earlier material, so memory is working, and participants who swapped from the LLM group to the brain-only group almost immediately showed an increase in neural activity. The search engine group got kind of moderate scores across everything, and the findings indicate that if you're using AI to write papers, if you're using AI to learn things or do work for you, it kind of causes brain atrophy. You're quite literally unprepared. Uh, the conclusions that the authors of this paper wrote have words like, crucial to understand the full spectrum of cognitive consequences associated with LLM integration in educational and informational contexts. And uh, there's also a little bit in here about how the participants were, the more you use an LLM, the more you're inclined to sort of believe it. They sort of stop questioning the validity of the data being output and just assume that the AI is always right, which is a different type of cognitive. It's like the appeal to authority bias, but the authority is a machine. And I think all of this is very scary and does not bode well for our future.